Welcome to Inquiring Minds. My name is Doug and I'm back with today's fountain pen review, this Wingsung 3024 Spring Syringe Filler. I didn't really know what brand this pen was until I got it out of the package when it arrived. I bought it from Bobby's AliExpress store called Saint Pen PPS Chinese Pen Store. Bobby isn't his real name any more than the owner of the terrific Etsy shop called Easy Buy is named Sally. They just anglicize their Chinese names in deference to our Western inability to pronounce them. Thank you. I've been buying stuff from Bobby for a few years, starting with his eBay store and then following him to AliExpress. His naming of his AliExpress store isn't to help us with Chinese pronunciation, however, and has more to do with tricking shoppers into thinking he's a pen BBS dealer. He's not. He takes it one step further, which kind of annoys me, and he names all of the pens he sells in his listings with the store name Saint Pen PPS. So this Wingsung 3024 becomes the Saint Pen PPS Pre's Piston Filler Ink Pen. Perhaps its store name is just a typo like the typo in press, but I doubt it. If you know what you're looking at, like this Wingsung 629 Piston Filler that clearly says it's Wingsung on the cap band, if you look closely that is, then sure, that's okay. But when it's something like I've never seen before, like this Wingsung 3024, then you have to wait until it's in your hands to know. I bought this pen last summer and back then, this was a new item. It looked to me like it could be a new, lighter and slimmer version of the Moonman T2. For five bucks US, I kind of doubted it, but I was fascinated to see the two pens next to each other. This Wingsung 3024 might be a cheap knockoff of an overpriced Italian pen. Let's take a look and see right now. Okay, here we have more packages of unknown origin. I'm getting so confused with all these non-tracking numbers. I have no clue what this is. Here's why I get confused. It's a package within a package. Oh, this is like a Russian doll. And another package. Huh, I'm going to get down to nothing. Yeah, this is the one I ordered back in June. It is now October 5th or the 6th today. Something like that. I ordered this because it resembled a Moonman um, T2. And I it had no real name on it. It has 3024. No other branding on it. Just some Chinese character. Might be a Wingsung. Not sure. But I thought it might be a refined or redesigned T2 because it's a spring filler like the T2, which was a copy of the Stipula. The Stipula Vantadu, as a matter of fact. And this is, in fact, a Wingsung. So this is Wingsung's copy of a copy. Wingsung 3024. So I thought I'd put this up against the uh, Moonman T2, uh, the copy of the uh, Stipula Vantadu, and see how the pens compare with each other in quality. I'll show the parts and features of this pen, some size comparisons and measurements, and then provide a writing sample. And then I'll talk about what I like and what I don't like so much about this fountain pen. First, let's compare and contrast the Moonman T2 with the Wingsung 3024. You can see my review of this Moonman T2 by clicking right up here. This pen, like many Moonman Majon Asvine pens, caused some amount of knicker twisting when it came out because it was accused of being a direct ripoff of the Stipula Vontidu. <laughs> I thought those criticisms were off the mark because the T2 has a completely different filling system. Still, they look similar. Now, if you want to see a clear and unequivocal design ripoff, you need look no further than this Moonman M800 and the Leonardo Momento Zero. Moonman copied everything about the Leonardo down to a fraction of a millimeter. Oh, that's not right. No. There are only two differences between these two pens. The number of cap rings, and the lack of a removable blind cap and extended converter on the Moonman. 
that's it, other than workmanship and the quality of the acrylic. Otherwise, they are identical. But the Stipula Vontadu is a piston filler, and Moon Man decided to be a little bit more innovative with the T2 by changing the filling system to this spring piston, which I think is very clever. You can see from this photo that the Vontadu works by twisting the chrome end knob to move the piston, but the T2 has the removable cap that exposes the spring-loaded piston. This is actually an improvement on the Vontadu's mechanism, as this is now a one-handed operation to fill. And I've got a spring syringe that uses the same mechanism. It's very convenient for ink filling, but mostly I use it for cleaning. These were available for a while on AliExpress, but I can't find them anymore. You can get the cartridge converter size spring syringes though. Wing Sung Jr. must have thought this was really clever because they copied it completely, but made a pen that was much lighter and slimmer than the T2. Let me explain, if I can, what I mean by Wing Sung Jr. You see, there are two Wing Sung pen companies. I like to call them Wing Sung Sr. and Wing Sung Jr. They are both owned by Hero. Wing Sung Sr. makes all of the wonderful upscale fountain pens like the Wing Sung 699, the Wing Sung 629, and the Wing Sung 601 as well as this new, hugely expensive Wingsung 630 with a 14 karat gold nib, and it's a piston filler copy of the Mont Blanc 149. People have been asking me to review this new Wingsung 630, but my pocketbook can't afford to spend the $200 US on a Chinese pen, even if it is for the team. But back to the point. So Wingsung Senior makes the, by Chinese standards, high-end fountain pens, usually with model numbers in the 600s. By contrast, Wingsung Junior makes the less expensive student model fountain pens, usually with model numbers in the 3000s, like the $8 Wingsung 3008 piston filler copy of the Twisby Diamond 580. Where I'm very fond of many of the Wingsung Senior fountain pens, I'm not impressed by any of the Wingsung Junior pens, until now that is. I think this Wingsung Junior 3024 is actually in some ways an improvement on the Moon Man T2. Let's take a look and I'll explain. Overall, the pen is the same length as the T2, but thinner and significantly lighter by 11 grams. That's because it's made mostly out of injection molded plastic, where the T2 is made of metal and turned acrylic. The cap is much shorter, and the clip is a nicely springy and usable rectangular shape rather than the teardrop shape of the T2. There's a wide chrome cap band with Chinese characters laser etched on the front, which I assume says Wingsung, and the model number on the back. The top half of the barrel is injection molded plastic followed by another chrome band which is actually the chrome plastic housing for the spring filler which is under the unscrewable bottom half of the barrel. This blind cap is also very light injection molded plastic as you can see from the dimple on the bottom. The spring piston mechanisms are the same by function but the wing sung parts are made of injection molded plastic where the T2 is all metal and the T2 is disassemblable where the 3024 is not even though that little plastic knob comes off this end and you can remove the spring. You can't get this part out of the barrel. The cap unscrews with one, two, and three quarter turns, which is really annoying, to reveal the transparent tapering plastic section and number five size steel pilot style nib and transparent plastic feed. The nib and the feed are pilot-like, but unfortunately not compatible or interchangeable with the pilot. The nib and the feed are friction fit and removable, and the section is very slender. Let's take a closer look at this nib. It has some scroll work, the Wingsung logo, Wingsung, and F for fine. The inside of the cap shows no plastic cap liner. The entire cap is plastic with these added metal bits but it looks like no metal is exposed on the inside, like what we had on the Wingsung 3008 with that screw that holds the top finial on and corroded severely, very quickly indeed. The cap does post, but not very deeply, but very securely. But it makes it very long, even though that cap, because it weighs so little, uh, doesn't significantly back weight the pen. It's still uncomfortable to write with because of the length. Unposted, it is very comfortable in the hand, although it might be on the small size for people with larger hands. I bought this pen at the St. 
Pen PPS Chinese Pen Store on AliExpress for $5 US and it comes in four different colors blue, green, red, and gold and in two nib sizes extra fine and fine. Now let's look at some size comparisons. And here is the Wingsung Junior 3024 Spring Piston Filler with a Moonman T2, a Wingsung Junior 3008 Piston Filler, a Pilot 78G, and a Twisby Echo Piston Filler. Now let's look at them posted. And here they are posted. You can see they're all very long when posted, except for the Pilot. I put the Pilot in here because that nib is almost identical in size to the Wingsung. And the Wingsung 3008 is a piece of total crap as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you can see the barrel is split right there. That happened without even being used. Now let's look at them unposted. And here they are unposted. The section on the Wingsung 3024 is very similar to the size and shape of the one on the Twisby Echo. Now let's look at some measurements and I'll be back with a writing sample. And we're back with the writing portion of the review. This is Claire Fontaine 90 GSM paper, and this is a Wing Sun Junior, that's my name, 3024, and it has a number five size steel fine nib. Let's check the wetness. It's decently wet and the nib is very smooth with some feedback. Not unpleasant at all. And the ink is one I just picked up from my stationery store. It is Ferris Wheel Press Bathurst Blue Denim. Ferris Wheel Press paid tribute to the downtown Toronto Fashion District by naming three colors after three streets in the district. Queen Street West, Spadina Avenue, and Bathurst Street. The Bathurst Denim Blue, paying tribute to the Canadian Tuxedo Denim. And here's a swatch I did of Ferris Wheel Press Bathurst Blue Denim on Tomoe River paper. You can see it's a really nice denim blue with a silver shimmer. It's a very nice writing experience. As to line variation, there's really not much to be had as this is a fairly stiff nib. And the line this nib makes is 0 0.3 millimeters, which makes it a Western extra extra fine or a Japanese extra fine to fine. On my Richard Binder line width chart, which you can find linked in the description below. And for our quote. And for some reverse writing. It's a lot scratchier and skips a lot. Not much ink there. And for some quick writing. Well, it's not terrific at keeping up, but you can see you write quickly with it and it runs out. So what do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen? I mentioned at the outset that I wasn't fond of the Wingsung Junior pens, as I find them cheaply made, brittle, with tiny scratchy nibs, and as in the case of my Wingsung 3008 piston fillers, they corrode, crack, and fall apart faster than a Twisby. That wasn't a bit nice. <laughs> Without Twisbys, you pay the shipping and will replace your cracked pen policy. But this 3024 is actually very nice. It feels more substantial than the typical Wingsung Junior pen, but it's lighter and generally nicer in the hand than the Moonman T2. The T2 has a slick metal section, is very heavy and is severely back weighted when it's posted. The things I don't like about the 3024 are the slim section, 
the tiny nib and lack of anything thicker than a Western extra extra fine nib. The mechanism is terrific though. So if you like very fine nibs and a pen that takes a lot of ink, there's 1.7 milliliters of ink here, and the pen's only $5, then you can get two or three of these. Remember, you can't search for Wingsong 3024 because they seem to have vanished. Search instead for Saint Pen PPS Fountain Pen Prees Piston Ink on AliExpress and you'll find them. But you have to type it exactly with the typos like I've printed it here. And there you have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And please look in the description for a link to Goldspot Pens, as I'm now an affiliate of the online store. And when you shop at Goldspot using my link, you'll be supporting my channel as well at no extra charge to you. You can also join as a member of my channel for only 99 cents a month, and I guarantee I'll answer your comments in the comment section. And you'll get cool emojis, badges, and sneak peek unboxing videos as well. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you. for watching and that's all she wrote I made this <laughs>